and there were some areas last night in our area that got quite a bit of rain. Can I just say we have been hit with rain quite a bit. It feels right. like the last yeah. several weeks, Ron. And we have another chance for some rain, some heavy rain showers coming in on Friday, guys. Uh, because of that, it is now a first alert weather day. That rain could be here as soon as maybe even noon tomorrow. So Friday afternoon, it's really when it looks like the uh, heaviest of the rain is going to get here at around 2, maybe as late as 3 o'clock. So those downpours could potentially lead to some flash flooding. Just like you said, Lindsay, we have already seen plenty of rain. And with the extra rain that's on the way, some flash flooding certainly will be possible. We can't roll out some severe weather for tomorrow. I will just give you a heads up. Right now, the Storm Prediction Center does not have a shaded in. For severe weather tomorrow. I think that that will change today. I think that we will be under at least a marginal risk. It's going to come from this system right here in the cold front. It'll expect it to arrive tomorrow. I'll start us off at 10 o'clock. We could see if you're up in Mercer, Lawrence County, just before noon, you could see the first of these storms rolling through. Heavy rain is going to be expected as we're heading into the afternoon. This puts it in Pittsburgh at around 2 o'clock. I think it could be maybe an hour or two faster than this. But as these showers and storms roll through very quickly behind this, we could see some flash flooding with just how saturated things are. All right, as we're heading into the late day of Friday, we'll get some breaks, but we will still have some rain showers around. That's going to be at around 4 or 5 o'clock on Friday. So if you have evening plans on Friday, probably going to be looking at most of your night dry. Still some showers that will be out there. What about Saturday? Best chance for rain on Saturday is going to be in the morning hours. This is before 10 o'clock. We will still see isolated, maybe even scattered showers breaking out on Saturday afternoon, and we might still have just enough instability to get a thunderstorm or two developing on the backside also. All right, the other big story today is just how low these visibilities are where places saw plenty of rain yesterday. You're seeing the fog out there this morning. Dense fog is set up in Beaver, Butler, Franklin counties, and if you're heading off to the east, just east of the Laurels, we are also dealing with some dense fog. Temperatures at this hour, it's 61. Winds out of the north at 5 miles an hour. That is actually bringing down that dew point just a little bit. It's now at 56. Last hour is at 58 degrees. Here's those temperatures for you now. Most places are hovering near 60 degrees. Radar is dry. I will point out even today, while it's not a good chance, we do have an isolated rain chance for the afternoon. Most folks are going to be completely dry start to finish today. There's your forecast. 11 o'clock 71. So our 10 o'clock temperature should be just shy of 70. Look at just how fast we warm up 76 at 2 and 5 o'clock your temperature at 79. There's the red on Friday. It's a first alert weather day 72. The expected high Saturday expected high of 73. Rain chances are highest in the morning hours. A lot of dry time in the afternoon on Saturday. Can't roll out some rain on Sunday, but most of Sunday is looking dry both Monday and Tuesday. We also are expecting dry conditions with temperatures up there near 80 degrees.